Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something a little bit different, but personally a type of video that I really enjoy watching. It's a what's in my bag video, which I feel like started sort of when I began to start YouTube and really get into it. There was like the old school what's in my bag tag. This one's gonna be a little bit different. I have done like what's in my everyday bag videos before. This one is going to be like a weekend bag. I guess you could call this like a carry-on, although I'm not going on a plane, I would pack a little bit differently for a carry-on but it's about the size something you want to take on a road trip a weekend anywhere or just you need to carry more stuff this is sort of the vibe for today's what's in my bag which is right here i guess i should show it to you right wow this looks absolutely gigantic next to my head i swear it's not that big so this is the Angela Roy share tote this is their original size so it's the biggest one that they have for comparison, my everyday bag is the Cher Micro, which looks like this, which I love. I'm totally a mini bag type of girl, but I do have this one and it's the only large bag I own because I feel like it's just super versatile. And I decided to go with a bit of like a different color than black or like a gray or brown. I wanted this really pretty color, which is called Ash Rose. I just thought it was so stunning and really unique and I love how it looks with the gold hardware on it. These are vegan leather bags, by the way. If you haven't seen any of my other videos on Angela Roy, they make beautifully constructed vegan cruelty-free bags. This is like a grained faux leather look. So they look really like high end and I feel like their design is just super classic and it doesn't look like a cheap vegan bag that you kind of get for really cheap. They're definitely worth the sort of higher price tag, although in terms of like handbags, they're still pretty affordable. So this bag is sort of like an accordion style. You have two big pouches on the side and then in the middle, there is this big zip pouch. And if you're curious about the micro, it has the same exact design. This is the perfect size everyday bag for me, fits my phone. Everything else that I need, I really don't carry a ton, so that's perfect. But the bigger size is definitely needed for longer trips. So I guess we'll just start with the basics. First is also my Angela Roy wallet. This is just their classic wallet, the little card holder has a gold keychain. Now I've had this for, I don't even know how many years now, a couple of years, and this thing looks pristine. Like even the metal hasn't tarnished, which I was kind of expecting it to. I feel like most like gold plated things do tend to tarnish pretty quickly, but this has stayed in just such good condition. It's just a black, more of a like grained leather, really pretty, useful everything I need it to. Next, I will call this sort of like my on-the-go essentials. There's some beauty-related things in here. This is just a Rebecca Minkoff. I have no idea when I got this. It's just like a little, I like how it's round. It holds a lot of products in here. First off, I have a hand sanitizer. These are the best hand sanitizers. You seriously need to try these. They're called the, they're from the brand J.R. Watkins. They're the cleansing hand elixir with cactus and calendula extracts. So it's called a no rinse hand wash. These are a really interesting texture. It's like a hand sanitizer mixed with a moisturizer in the scent. This one is called Hemp Flower. It's absolutely incredible. Like it stays on your hands really nicely. So it's almost like a perfume and hand sanitizer in one, but it's not like super strong. It's just really beautiful. This works so well and it leaves your hands feeling really soft and not dehydrated like a regular hand sanitizer would. So I have multiples of these and I really love them. To go with that, if my hands are feeling a little bit extra dry, I have a Gold Fade in MD, Hands to Heart Anti-Aging Brightening Hand Treatment. I believe this was in a Pettivore box. Just a lightweight hand moisturizer, pretty simple. And for lip products, I carry some of my favorites. First is a Ritual de Fee White Thorn Lip Shear. Now products that I like to bring in my bag, I like for them to have a good amount of tint. So I like to have something that's tinted. I like to have like a full on lipstick and then I like to have something like a gloss balm. So this is my sheer option, the shade White Thorn. It's just a pretty sort of sheer rose. This is nice if I need a lot of color, but I also want a more moisturizing finish. This one's really beautiful. And then for my more lip balmy option, I have the Rowan Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm. I love this formula. This is the shade Charlie, which is a rose color. These just give you the perfect amount of color, but also give you the moisturization of a balm. This is really great if I feel like my lipstick is worn off, but I still have some like residue lip liner on. It just fills it in. It makes it look nice again. And then one of my lipstick picks, this is my more moisturizing lipstick. 
I am in love with this lipstick. I call this my favorite lipstick of all time because it truly is. I need to get more shades, but this formula is just like my dream lipstick formula. This is from Victoria Beckham. First off, the packaging is super sleek and just feels really luxurious. And this is the shade Girl. So these are just called their posh lipsticks. This shade is just, I feel like my perfect nude. It goes with everything. It looks so beautiful. I feel like I've said the word beautiful a lot this video. Sorry, I will try to find a new adjective. Mm, can't think of one. But anyway, the formula is super moisturizing. If you have dry lips, it looks good. It just has such good pigment to it without being like, a full-on matte lipstick but it's also not too sheer so again if i have like leftover lip liner on and throw this on or no lip liner and i just need a lipstick on this just works wonderfully it's perfect i can't recommend this formula enough if you like a moisturizing lipstick if you like a matte lipstick it's not matte so i don't think you'd love it but mm, just so perfect and then next i have this is a little lipstick case from danessa myricks so in here you get a little mirror for applying lipstick. This is so cool. Like how have I not owned one of these before? And then in here I have a Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick, which I do really like the formula. This is a more matte long wearing formula. I don't like this if I have like dry skin on my lips because it doesn't look the best. I'll reach for the other options. But if I just need like a touch up or I want something more long wearing, I do reach for this one. And this one's a bit more pink compared to sort of the other shades that I carry. They're actually all very similar. Can you tell I have a type? Uh, I really like this lipstick and I like this little container. I don't know if Nessa Myricks actually sells these. I don't think she does. This was just like a PR product, but I definitely bet they have something similar to this on Amazon. I will link it below. Next up is a sunscreen. This is the Versed Guards Up Daily Mineral Sunscreen. I actually carry this for my backs of my hands. Oh. Just got lipstick all over my fingers. Anyway, this is for the backs of my hands. I don't actually love this formula for my face. It's a little tip for you. If you have a sunscreen you don't like, just use it on your body or your hands so you actually get use out of it. This is just a zinc SPF 35 sunscreen. This is not at all a bad formula. I just feel like it pills with a lot of the skincare that I use. So I just keep it in my bag for my hands and my body. Or if I really need to touch up, I will just use it. But that's that for my little sunscreen. I have three perfumes in here, which is a little bit excessive, but I feel like they're all pretty different. First is a Pacifica Rollerball fragrance. This is the Tahitian Garden perfume. It's a little bit more floral. I don't know how to describe this one. Oh, maybe it has like patchouli in it. It's definitely a little more like bright than the other two that I pack. And this one's a rollerball, so it's really easy just to pop on your wrists or your neck or wherever you want to put it. And then this is another mini, but this is a spray on. If I actually need to spray it on my body, this is the replica by the fireplace. Really classic, warm, sexy, beautiful scent. It doesn't last the longest, but it's nice for touch ups because it is lighter. And then I also have a body spray. This has been my favorite lately. This is from Sol Janeiro. It's the Brazilian Crush 71 caramelized vanilla and macadamia spray body spray i actually just ordered their new scent i'll share that one in an upcoming video this is similar to by the fireplace but it's sweeter a little bit lighter it is like a body spray so it's not as concentrated so if you need to spray it like on your hair on your clothes wherever you need it it works so i've just been really loving this and it doesn't give me a headache either which is a big win next i have a couple miscellaneous type products but i feel like are really important for me to carry first these are super interesting products so these are called c bands these are little tiny bands that have an acupressure thing on the inside of them so these are if you get car sick or just to help with nausea which is what i use them for because i do get nauseous a lot and sometimes i do get car sick not all the time i get seasick but i'm not really going on a boat anytime soon so my primary reason for carrying these is just general nausea and they actually work like i literally tried every Everything for nausea in terms of like natural just quick little fixes and they actually work if you get them in the right place so they look very tiny but you basically just have to like locate between some two tendons down here which is about here and you just wear these on both of your wrists and they work they don't hurt at all if you look at sort of the plastic part you kind of think wouldn't that like hurt your wrist 
It really doesn't feel like anything and they're effective. So I grabbed these on Amazon. I think they're worth it if you have troubles with nausea or you get any sort of motion sickness. I feel like that's such a cool little product. And they come in a nice little case. Next is something I always bring with me when I'm like staying somewhere other than home where I know I won't have a good mirror or lighting. This is a Reiki mini mirror. So this is just a lighted little mirror, which is so helpful. Also, if you're in the car and you need to like have a good lighted mirror and not just the one that sort of flops down from the top. Flops down? I don't know if that was the best adjective. Flips down, that's what I was looking for. But I love this thing. I've gotten so much use out of it and mm, it's just good. Next. <laughs> Uh, this looks really weird, but this is just a fidget toy. This is one of my favorites. I don't know why. I just like really like pulling it if I want something to fidget with or tie it into knots. I've tried a bunch of different types of like fidget sensory toys and this one is by far my favorite. I didn't think it would be because it looks so simple and not fun, but it is really fun. I got this off of a pack on Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks for a bunch of different ones and it came with a bunch of these. So I like to carry one of these for fun. And then lastly, for this little essential bag, I have these Vibes High Fidelity Earplugs. This is another interesting sort of Amazon find. These are actually not in here because I lost them. Unfortunately, they come in the tiniest little case and I need to reorder them. They're about $20. So these are actually made for listening to live music. They basically filter the noise. They actually increase the quality of sound, but they lower the decibel. So these are super handy. I do have some sensory issues, so I don't, if I feel like I'm overwhelmed by sound and I just want to like quiet everything down, but still be able to hear, these are so cool. I need to pick up another pair of them. It's great how they're not like an earplug. Like it doesn't block out everything. You can still hear people speaking. You can hear mostly everything that's going around you. It just lowers the volume. Really cool product. Love those. Need to repurchase them. I really wish I did not lose them, but they come in the tiniest little case. I'm usually good at keeping track of things, but these have just disappeared. But I really enjoy them and I still wanted to talk about them. I might try the different brand. They have one called Loops on Amazon too. I think is a newer brand. They do the same type of thing. They look a little bit differently. I did enjoy these ones though. They're really comfortable. We'll see, but I really like these. Next, I just have a pair of blue light glasses. These ones are from Key. That's how you pronounce them, I believe. I used to say Way, but I think it's Key. Uh, these are just classic blue light blockers if my eyes feel like they're just done with the blue light. I'm not sure I love the style of these, honestly, but I think they're better than the other ones I picked. So it doesn't really matter. I keep them anyway, and they came in this clear case. I do also carry with me sunglasses, but they're in the car right now. My favorite are from Italic. They're the cat eye ones, super pretty. I love cat eye shaped sunglasses and they're really good quality. Then I also just have my iPad if I want to answer emails, go on YouTube, anything else. It's just like a bigger screen to use. I just have like a basic case on here with my Apple Pen. I do also have the keyboard case, which is if I plan on doing a lot of emails, I'll bring that. But I don't use this like too much in the car. It makes me a little bit car sick, more just for like hanging out in wherever I'm going or quickly in the car just to do some quick work things quickly do some quick things. Lastly is another bag inside a bag. This is from Velour. I don't know if they sell this on their site. Again, this is something that came in PR, but it's a really beautiful faux leather little like drawstring bag. This is more like my toiletry little bag. I don't have like my full makeup or full skincare really. I actually do have my skincare in here, but I don't have my full makeup in here. That's something I would pack separately, but I did want to share these with you. First, I have some facial pads from First Aid Beauty. I don't like primarily remove my makeup with a facial wipe, but if I am traveling, I like to have something like this in case I want to take off like lipstick or just like touch something up. I feel like they're always good to have. And besides like shampoo and conditioner, I have a few other hair products. I have the Innersense Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner. This is a product I've used before. I used the full bottle of it. I really love the formula. It's a bit thicker, doesn't weigh your hair down, and I feel like this is a really good size. It's pretty hefty of a size, two fluid ounces, so I'm definitely not gonna like run out using this. So I really love this product from Innersense. I think they make great hair care. And for cleansers, I have two different ones. I always like to bring two because I feel like I use a lot of cleanser. First is the Herbivore Pink Cloud. 
It's just a mini size, so I feel like I'd go through this really quickly. I like to have also a bigger backup option, which in this case is the Indie Lee Purifying Face Wash. I'm currently using, I'm actually using this one right now. Yeah, I'm currently using this one in my shower. I really like it. Indie Lee makes great face washes. They're a gel formula, but they take off makeup. They're gentle and they're just really effective. For body wash, I have a little sample of this Plant Apothecary Start Happy Geranium and Peppermint. I have tried this brand before and I really like their body care. I love peppermint, really refreshing. I usually shower at night, but I guess that would be nice for the morning too. And then I have two little skincare products. First is the Baki Chol Serum from Herbivore. I've used this before and like it. How cute is this little tiny bottle? I like can't get over how cute this is. And then I also have the Emerald Oil, which is another product I've used before, so I know it works. I love to have an oil because I feel like my skin it definitely dries out when I'm traveling anywhere so that's a great addition to just having like a regular moisturizer and then lastly I have a body oil if I need some moisturization on my bod this is another product from herbivore the coconut hydrating body oil I've actually never tried this does it smell like coconut or is it just coconut oil oh it actually does smell like coconut that's really nice I'm excited to give this a go it smells really good so that's it for this I would also put in shampoo conditioner toothbrush toothpaste anything else I feel like I need hair ties but yeah that was all for that one. So that was actually everything for my weekend bag, carry on, whatever you want to call it, bag tour. Um, again, this is from Angela Roy. It's the share tote. I really love them. Can't recommend it enough. It also has little feet on the bottom. This was kind of fun to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit different. It was really fun to make. Thank you for subscribing and liking this video. Let me know in the comments below. What is one thing you feel like is sort of a unique product or item that you always bring with you when you travel? I feel like that'd be a super fun little comment section. Definitely comment below. I'd love to hear from you, but thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.